Miss part one? Click here below to watch. So, how did we get here? Who was officially charged in relation to Michael Vaughn's death? Only one person, Sarah Wandra. However, there's more to it. After several weeks of digging up the backyard of a home in Fruitland, police said today during a news conference they did not find Michael Vaughn's remains. Said, quote, they strongly believe that Michael was abducted, buried, and then later removed from that Fruitland property. But the question now is where this is Sarah Wander. She was arrested earlier in November for failure to report a death, and she is currently being held in the Payette County Jail. Um, Ms. Wander, uh, you are charged. You did on or about the 12th day of November of this year, from the state of Idaho, fail to notify the coroner of a death, uh, the death of Michael Vaughn, uh, with the intent to prevent a discovery. Uh, of the manner of death. That is a felony here in the state of Idaho. Do you understand the allegation that's been made against you? I understand what they said. Oh, All right. So why would she say that? Let's look at the leaked probable cause affidavit that East Idaho News and Idaho Statesman released. According to court documents, Police forced entry into the Wondra's home around 9.30 p.m. Friday, where they found Sarah Wondra in the living room. She was detained and read a copy of the search warrant. When I got to the portion that read murder, she said, did you just say murder multiple times? A Fruitland police officer wrote in the affidavit. She also said, I have never murdered anyone. Sarah Wondra maintained that she definitely did not kill that boy and said the most high God already told me who did it. She reportedly told police. Oh, wow, wow. The Most High God just told me that Stacy was the one who killed him and buried him in the yard of the neighbor's house. She said her husband buried Michael in the backyard by the shed, but wasn't the one who actually harmed the boy, she said. Instead, that a man identified only as Adrian had been the one that had done it, and he was scared to tell anybody. So the leaked probable cause affidavit that you heard from Sarah Wander's arrest has details that have been omitted by the media who leaked it. And I can only assume that this is because, quote, it could jeopardize future proceedings considering the public nature of the case, AKA protect the informant, AKA protect the tip. Due to the obvious ramblings from Sarah Wandra, the judge ruled on an order of commitment and for a competency evaluation. Fast forward four months, they terminate the commitment say that she's ready to proceed, and then dismisses the charge. You're Sarah Wander, ma'am? Yes, Your Honor. Um, in this case, the, this morning, there was filed by the state a motion to dismiss case 1769. All right, let's uh, take up next Kimberly Douglas in case CR3823142. However, there's more to it. Twitter, weasels for monkeys.